doing a blower door test to gauge the efficiency of the building envelope. What this test does is it puts a negative pressure on the entire house. So if there's any leaks or gaps through windows, doors, or outside penetrations, this is going to show how much airflow we're pulling from outside into the house and out the front door. It's a standardized measurable test. At negative 50, we're pulling 60 pascals in terms of fan speed. We are at 3,650 CFM. And at 50, we're at 3660. <clears throat> so when we check an outlet like this on an upper interior wall, it probably has some connectivity with the outside. Um, either it's an uncapped interior wall, which means it goes all the way up to the attic, and that could be causing comfort issues as well. Anything over 40 is 100% connectivity. Anything between 10 and 40 is middle ground, but you can see how close we are to 40 here. This is showing me there's either an electrical penetration or just a top plate inadequacy where there's no top plate on top of this. 1, 7, 1, 8. So what that's showing is a positive pressure coming between the partition from the basement to the main floor. These need to be foamed out or mastic'd or both to make sure it's a closed loop system. We should have this number right here <clears throat> below 0.5. Upper has high supply leakage at 1.6. Mid floor average was about a 0.9. So that was supply or return. So supplies up here showing a little bit of problem. This is a return, <clears throat> and this is on the floor next to the master where we found a big leak from the blower door test. This is duct taped off through the register grill, the return grill. That one up there is wide open, and it's got direct connectivity to the attic, which means it's introducing hundreds of CFM of outside air into the house, <clears throat> which is both causing a dust problem and an inefficient furnace. You want it to be a closed loop system. Here's the connectivity to the attic. This return is pulling air from the attic all the way downstairs and introducing it into the heating or cooling system depending on which is used. This is a huge air. I would put this at a 30 to 40 percent leak on the system. In this house, even in worst case scenario, is still a positive number. Which means there's bad connectivity. That return line leak is throwing off the whole balance of this entire house. So with the AC on, all the fans on, all the doors closed, the house is in worst case scenario which means it's got the biggest negative draft you can have on it. Every fan in the house is trying to pull air out of the house, and we still have a positive pressure. Insulation because of how they cut in that return line. There's a good picture of that with the thermal imaging. Big open area. So areas like that, lack of insulation. This is the kiddo's room. A couple areas where it just looks like the insulation's failing. Dead red means there's none. These little yellow spots right here in the middle of this median. I only have a <clears throat> 11 degree delta right now, but it's still showing some temperature variation. We're going to do a spillage test on hot water heater. Right now it's showing 7 parts per million, which means it's burning pretty clean. We also want to make sure it doesn't backtrack. So it goes under the hood like that. You see how it gets taken completely. Under the hood like that, it gets taken completely like that you get a minute to show that it gets taken. I would usually cut into here and measure the negative pressure but because it's a B vent I'm not going to. 